I was bedridden, completely bedridden, and horribly depressed and scared. And I just decided I would draw 100 sheets. That was my goal. If I didn't wake up and draw for 12, 15 hours a day, I would have died. I was really thinking about death, and I thought to myself, next year this time I will be here. It's kind of funny that the people that I tattoo, the legal age is now exactly when I started tattooing, so it can be like, I've been tattooing before you were born. <laughs> Yeah, I think doing a couple of lines okay. is gonna be good because then it doesn't seem drippy. I had really bad ADD growing up. I have a very good visual memory, which gets you through. So I just needed a visual on myself. I just knew I wanted that type of communication on my body. 2010, I found a lump in my breast. With a lot of testing, a lot of PET scans, a lot of waiting, uh, they found out that it actually was uh, stage four. There's no stage five. There's no remission. That feels more like a death sentence almost than the death sentence. Your life is over as you know it, and you have to mourn it and try to figure out how to get, get through. I said, I'm gonna start to draw again, because it was hard with my arm. And I said, if I can get to 100 sheets of flash, then I can make it through this. I started to be able to tattoo after that. It brought back the muscle memory, it brought back a little bit of my like confidence. It was the beginning of something where I realized, oh, I can express myself more in the art than I was doing. There's this one with like the time wasted and just the poison that I had to kind of endure all the chemo and everything is shooting me in the face. It was the worst of times, it was the breast of times because I basically went to bed with, with boobs in my body and woke up with drains where they were. There was just nothing there. And I forgot about that. I forgot how bad it was that everything on here was just terrible. Okay, she's lying down. I feel like somewhat of a responsibility that I am continuing her legacy, as she's said, which is great. You know, I feel proud to do that. All right, my dear, are you ready? Yes. Okay. They're getting a memorial tattoo, whether they like it or not, and they have to understand that. Now, it's a positive memorial. It's like a happy thing. But they may have to look at their arm when somebody says, who did that? They may have to say, Sue from East River Tattoo, she's not here anymore. You know, and that's, that's something that they have to know. I'm furious at the fact that I lost my body. I'm furious that I wanted to have children and I can. I'm furious that I don't have a long life. Um, I'm furious that I have to be in pain. And that is a normal thing. It's how you deal with that anger that is important, not that you have that anger. And she's done for today. For today. I thought she was an amazing woman before I ever knew, but then finding out how much she's been through, it just made me even more in awe of who she is. I'm glad that I have a piece of her with me, so. What I'm doing is marking people with my legacy forever. This is my immortality.